Well, Pat, more than 100 firefighters spent about an hour fighting the flames from the ground and on the roof. Uh, behind me, you can see uh, some business owners and workers have showed up to move uh, some of those belongings out of the first four businesses that were affected. We know that one man was hurt, and tonight he's being questioned by police about his possible involvement in the fire. Massive flames shot through the roof of this two-story building in the Westlake District Thursday. Police were initially called to the 2800 block of West 7th Street for a battery suspect. When they arrived, they found a man armed with a knife and barricaded inside his sister's unit. Authorities say when they tried to confront the man, he became violent, lighting clothing and other items on fire. He escalated his behavior uh, that we didn't have an opportunity to do that upon uh, throwing objects and lighting things on fire, throwing that at the officers, and then he jumped off of the balcony and we took him into custody without incident. Police believe the fire was likely started in the victim's apartment before the 45-year-old suspect was taken to the hospital with burns. The blaze was so intense, police evacuated everyone in the building as they aggressively fought the fire from the roof, coming within inches of the massive flames. You know, I saw that they were actually really confident doing their job, but then at the same time, I noticed that the plants were all over them. This is something that we do train for. That's our business. And uh, we will take the, all those extreme, uh, you know, um, times where we put ourselves out there based on the fact that there may be lives at risk. And this was one of those events. Uh, if we didn't have any occupants, the lives that were at risk were the firefighters inside. Uh, so they did. They stayed up there. 